Welcome to the Nerdy Fitness Vlog. I'm your host, Pablo Gunner, and I'm going to be talking about uh, nerdy fitness stuff. So, yeah, I wanted to start off by saying that your stomach is approximately the size of your fist, so you should not be eating more than... Did I do this yesterday? I don't even remember. So, you should not be eating more than your fist, which is weird because, like... That's approximately the same size as your heart tube, supposedly, so all these organs are about the size of your fist. Anyways, so I saw this show the other day, and it was pretty fascinating. Actually, it was a while back, but it was, uh, it was, there was two, two parts of it that were really fascinating. One was there was this guy, and he was spelunking, an old man, and he fell. Uh, he had food, so he rationed it out. And then he ran out of food and his body like went into a hibernation mode where like his heart rate like slowed down because like he wasn't expelling any energy at that point like he was he was just trapped there like I think he was like under a boulder or something like that or, or some rock and so he couldn't go anywhere and he was just there and so yeah his body went into like hibernation mode where it didn't require much you know to keep going and Eventually, like, his body started deteriorating itself. Like, his stomach ate, you know, all the fat that was there. And then it started eating the muscle uh, in his body to keep it going. So, it's really fascinating, like, how your body can survive, like, on its own. It's insane. And then there's, there's this other one where this guy was stuck out at sea. And it was on a raft and he was catching fish and he was eating them and then like he got really really thirsty because he was not he didn't have any potable water you know it was just salt water so but then you know he wasn't eating the whole fish eventually he was eating the entire fish especially certain parts of the fish he was really craving like the eyes and then some organ because it had the eyes have a lot of water in them like fresh water in them it's really interesting so his body was naturally craving that so that's why you should really listen to your body when your body's telling you that it's craving something i'm not talking about like when you're watching tv and there's commercials coming on and then you're like oh man i really want that or when you're watching big bang theory and they're eating pizza or chinese food or the chocolate cake factory or whatever the hell and you're like oh man i really want that now not like that it's different like, just the other day this happened where I was just like, oh my god, I'm so freaking starving, but I was starving for, like, a sport carbs. Like, I was like, man, I just really want some pasta or some rice. That's what I want right now. Um, you know, and of course, you, but even then, like, you want to go with the healthiest version of that thing. You know, like, same thing, oh, like, I want protein, and it's like, okay, well, then you should have chicken, you should have fish, you know. Those are the things you should be going after. Not, like, really fatty stuff. Not that fat is like the the worst. Like you need to have fat in your diet um, to a certain degree. But yeah. So anyways. So yeah. Just want to throw that little tidbit out. I thought that stuff was interesting. So anyways. Um, so to get to the workout stuff, I decided I was like, you know what? I'm gonna stop the. I'm gonna stop eating so much bread. I'm gonna stop with the bagels. I'm done with the bagels. It's too much bread, it's too much carbs that I don't really need. And so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go fruit. Well, so I had a peach on the way to work and it was straight out of the fridge. I made a terrible mistake because it was, it was because it was straight out of the fridge. It was, it did, did not have much taste because it was cold and it just did not taste very good at all. Like, it was just, and then it just, I was not full from eating that. Like, that was a not enough. And so, man, I was like, ah, oh, I just want some, like I've really, really, really been craving lately shredded chicken. Like, I'm like, you know, I just want a freaking cheese and shredded chicken burrito and that's it. Cheese, rice, shredded chicken, that's what I want. That's, that's what I've been craving lately for like before, for my, you know, before my workouts and uh, actually I did my workout at home I did my workout at home last night because I was like you know what I've clocked in enough wellnesses at work 
so I'm good. I'm just gonna work out at home because I'm doing abs and I don't need weights for that. I have 10 pound weights, but I'm, I've been stepping it up. So anyways, so yeah, so that's, that's what's been going on with that. And so it was a, it was a solid workout. Um, yeah, fantastic abs workout. I didn't do like the super hardcore, uh, I don't know, I just did a, like a mishmash of stuff. I was just like, I want to try this and this and this, and I haven't done this in a while, and I haven't done that in a while, so I'll do these. So that's what I did. So it was a good time. But like I said, afterwards, I was hungry, peach wasn't enough, didn't taste that great because it was straight out of the fridge. Because I just had another one just now, and that one's been in my lunchbox, and that one tastes heavenly. And it's the same, it's the same freaking peach. So, well, not exactly, obviously, but anyways, same place and everything like that. So, anyways, yeah, so, uh, yeah. So, got into work, and I was hungry, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to do my regular thing. I'm just going to have a cheese stick. So, that's what I had. Cheese stick held me off for a while. Then, I warmed up the chicken that... Uh, it's been around like two around two I had I, I warmed up the piece of chicken I think it was chicken thigh mashed potatoes, corn on the cob ate that, destroyed that that was freaking delicious, that was heavenly wonderful, perfect and everything like that I always strip it, like I take as much of the fat off of it as I can and I tear it apart and I just kind of like mix the, the chicken and the mashed potatoes and then just spooned it so, and then I just, you know, I ate like half the corn and, yeah, anyways, whatever. So, yeah, um, so yeah, I also was like, oh man, I've been craving some freaking anime lately. And I was like, yeah, I want to get into some anime. So I asked people on, on, uh, in the Facebook community group for Talk Nerdy to Me, um, what, what it's, what I should watch. And I got a few suggestions, not as many as I would hope, and there was quite a few that I had already seen. But there was a lot that I hadn't seen. But then I was like, ah, oh, man, I have a lot of work to do for the podcast. So I got on the computer and was like, I had a lot of website stuff to do that I had to work on. So I did that. That's all I did was like, you know, YouTube and and uh, and website work and stuff. So, but I did watch one episode, like I, the third season first episode of the third season of Voltron because it was short it's only like 20 I want to say it's like 23 minutes 27 minutes maybe and but the thing is that show it's the way it's designed it's actually designed so that you should watch it like see like watch it from the beginning all the way up to that point just because it has more weight and then you're not lost because this one I was like what happened? They don't do a good job of recapping what happened. They just jump into it. And so that's kind of a bummer because, like, something happened to one of the characters in the previous one. And I was like, I don't remember what happened to that person. And I was like, what? And uh, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's upsetting. I'm like, I feel like I have to at least watch the previous season to get what's going on in this one or at least the previous episode. So... Yeah, at least the at least the previous episode I need to rewatch. So, but I was like, you know what? This doesn't this it wasn't tickling my fancy for anime though. Voltron's great, but it's not anime. It's animation, not anime. So, yeah. So it didn't really do it for me. And then, uh, so in the morning I just had like my little tube of yogurt. Um, but I was like hungry before my workout, even though I only I ate like an hour before my workout with the yogurt and I was still hungry so yeah then I did my uh, then I did my legs workout this morning and I don't know what it was like I did it with 10 pound weights this time and I still was like this is not it was not it just was not that strenuous I'm just my body I guess is just getting really just getting too used to it or something I need to find a way to step it up and make it harder for myself besides just adding weight to it so yeah um, so and like I said I just had a I had a peach that was heavenly and uh, I'm still hungry so I'm probably gonna have more fruit and that's what I'm gonna try to do is to have more fruit but I also need to figure out a way to have more vegetables as well 
that I can eat. So, yeah. Uh, so I want to know what's your favorite. Uh, what's your favorite animated show? Animated show. It doesn't have to be like right now. I would have to go back to classic X Men, like '90s X Men. That's my favorite one of all time. Like, there's some amazing. Like, I love Earth's Mightiest Heroes, Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes, but that, but I, hands down, it goes to X Men. So I want to know what yours is. So that's it for me now. Stay fit, stay healthy, stay nerdy, love and peace.